going to do here is prove that the left's like the right. So this is essentially, from my understanding, is the secant of theta times the square root of quantity one minus sine squared theta. So what we can do is we can rewrite this as a square root of one minus, oops, sine squared theta, and this is over. Secant's the same thing as one over cosine, so we can put the cosine on the bottom. We can square both of these. And what we end up with is on top, if you square this and you square this, we end up with one minus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And then we end up with, um, if you look, there's a trig identity here. So subtract one from there. So we get cosecant or cosine squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. We can swap this, we have cosine squared theta. These cancel out and we equal one and that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching and see you next time.